Warley is a beautiful place, but it's at the bottom of quite a few hills, so a lot of water comes down from the hills. I'd say over 300 homes and businesses got flooded in 2015. It was Boxing Day, which isn't great because obviously everybody had just had the Christmas. You know, water came up through the drains, sewerage, etc. Sort of obliterated whatever people had downstairs in the house, really. So what have you done since 2015 to help um, mitigate, protect against flooding? We've set up a flood action group. We're in liaison with all of the residents and we work with the Environment Agency, the local councils and things to improve everything, which we have gone a long way actually to improve that. We now have flood wardens who come out sometimes even in the middle of the night and that alleviates flooding in the area. This stream represents a significant flood risk. It accepts water from the surrounding hills and surrounding area in catchment and routes water under the main street through what's effectively a pipe that runs beneath the road. On the upstream side of the road, there's a trash screen that's designed to collect debris to stop that from entering the pipe and blocking the pipe, leading to flooding potentially. Yeah, since the trash screen was put in, it's, it's been really useful, but it does get blocked and that causes us problems. So what we've done is we've installed a radar-based connected sensor. And what that's doing is it's, it's measuring water levels constantly, sending data in real time that the local flood wardens have access to via a dashboard, so that when water levels reach a certain point, an alert is sent out via text message, and that's designed to allow local flood wardens, including yourself, to go out to do um, the maintenance, trash screen clearance that you need to do to help prevent a flood. Yeah, I mean, since it's been installed, it's been great. We think it's a, a wonderful device because before that we did have cameras and you've got to actually be watching the video to see if anything ever happened, whereas with the alert that actually, you know, gives you an alert, whether you're at home or wherever you are. Uh, so we got that alert 2020 on Boxing Day night and uh, one of our flood wardens came out at midnight, cleared the trash screen after getting the alert and that actually stopped the village from flooding again. Measures like these just help us to be prepared. Some people have taken two years to get the houses back to a livable condition really. I think in terms of the emotional and mental health impacts, then we've still got people who worry every time it rains. You know, it just improves generally that, you know, we can be prepared because we do have a device like this.